And whenever you're ready, we're just going to meet in easy seated. Once we're here and easy sit, seated, be aware of your sits bones. Be aware of how your pelvis is tilted. Go ahead and try and tilt that pelvis out just a little bit so that you're not letting everything sink in. Lift your ribs up, bring your arms overhead to heart center. I'm gonna set an intention for this practice and that knowing within ourselves we have abilities that we're aware of and that we can share with others and all we need to remember is that we can do things you can do anything even for a minute bring your hands down to your knees and slowly while we're here we're just going to start to rock around and do circles almost like cat cow so when you're around in the front you want to do more like the cow sinking your belly forward so like navel circles and then drawing it back up once you're to your spine or once you're back towards the back sorry so let's do some clockwise ones and you really really don't want to be moving your hips or your legs so think everything above the belly button that's really really what we want to engage in and even if you want to put your hands here on this area above your waist so that you can feel okay Good, about 10. We're going to switch to the other side and gently start as you're moving forward, bringing that belly down a little bit towards your knees. We're going to use that for our exhale. So we're going to do this side a little bit slower until we can get our breathing with it. So we're going to exhale, down, inhale, bring it back around and exhale. Lean forward if you would like. Do these at your own pace. Oh, I'm so sorry. Try and feel with your hands, your ribs expanding on those inhales. Notice how much air you can fill up into your lungs when we're taking these breaths. And on our 10th one, or when you feel like you've done enough, come back to easy seated. We're going to extend out our right leg and bring our heel as close to your torso as you can and in this if you notice that your right hip or your left hip sorry is starting to lift or even your right hip take a small blanket and roll it up under the hip that's lifting up and using that little prop can even out your hips so that you're getting the proper stretch instead of straining something. So if you notice that anything is lifting just a little bit on either side of your hips, support it. So bring your heel to your torso, flex your feet, gently stretch over, line first, bring your hips so that they're tilted forward, back straight, and then gently we're going to lean over onto our right side for a side stretch. This is where your hip might lift. So be mindful of your alignment in this. Don't, try not to slouch over in this. You're gonna put extra strain on this left knee. 
and it's it's doing too much damage and good in that position. So you want to really, really breathe in, just like we were. Fill up this lung, bring your left arm overhead, and if you can touch your toe, great. Grab onto it. And look up at your hand. If this is too much to have your hand up in the air, bring it down. But in this, you kind of want everything to be in alignment. In a straight line from your hand all the way down to your elbow, to your shoulder, to your ribs, and even down to that left hip. If you can, try and make one straight line. And hold on to those toes on the right side if you can. Or maybe you're at your shin. Or maybe you're here at your knee. Wherever feels good. We're really working on stretching this right now. You guys look very pretty. And also in this, when you're looking up, be mindful of your shoulder and your neck. Don't, you know, have your shoulder and your cheek touching. Really relax your neck down. It's just your gaze that needs to be up at your eye, or up at your hand, sorry. And we'll hold this a few more breaths. Be mindful in your breath. Be mindful of your hips and your knee on the left side. Relax your shoulder from your ears on both sides. Take a deep breath. Slowly bring your left arm down. Slowly bring your left side to center. Slowly. Bring your right leg to center. Bring your right heel to your torso. And what we do on one side, do on the other. So extend your left leg. Bring your heel into your torso. Again, we're going to try and keep your feet flexed in this. Before we start, again, check your alignment with your hips. I have a knee injury, so you guys know, on my left side. So if it looks like I'm wonky on, in this, it's because I'm trying to not bend or straighten this out so much. So that being said, try and listen, I guess, more so than watch if it looks weird. So again, we're going to take that deep breath, both arms overhead, keep both feet flexed, drop your left arm down to touch your left toes, keep that right arm up, Overhead, look up at your hand, and again, you want the right hand, elbow, shoulder, ribs to all be in alignment here. So that when you breathe, you're breathing up this way more so than just breathing like we normally do. I guess more and more lateral. You want to be looking up when you're doing this. And try and keep both feet flexed. Check in with your other knee. Make sure that you're still grounding. Check in with your shoulders and your ears on your breath. Make sure that you don't have them close and drawn up. You put extra strain on your neck. Well, your next inhale, 
see if you can't fill up those lungs so big that you bring your arm back even a little bit. So your chest is proud, almost standing up. So inhale, hold, really feel that stretch in your left side. Stay here for two more breaths. On that second exhale, drop your right arm. Slowly bring your shoulders and body back to center. Slowly bring your left leg and feet back to center so that we are now sitting, not in easy seated, but we're sitting, um, we're going to do a um, forward fold and butterfly. So you want your feet to be mirror images of each other, as close to it as you can get in this. So even down to your toes. So your Big toe, your second toe, all the piggies that went to the market, all of them need to line up, even down to the baby one. And if this right now is too much to be in this pose, and it's just, it's hurt, it's just not happening, grab your pillows and you can sit, or even your block, when you sit up and have that extra support underneath your booty it allows you to take a deeper breath and to sit up higher and to then be able to go into the fold deeper so having anything under you right now is not a bad thing it actually might help you so from here mirror up these feet try and do the same and be aware of where your knees are are they level is one hurting or is one uncomfortable? Again, because I didn't say it earlier, if anything hurts, stop. Yoga should feel good. And you know your limits and you know where your edge is, so don't push yourself. So check in here. And then while we're sitting here, check in with your hips. We're gonna tilt that pelvis forward just a little bit. Bring our arms overhead. Take a deep breath and on your exhale, you'll notice that you can reach just a little bit higher and that's when we're gonna go forward. So inhale, exhale, and then come forward to wherever is comfortable. If this is too much strain, if you are sitting on something, come back up and remove what you're sitting on even and then can come forward. If you are right here in this, then this is exactly where you need to be. If you need a block in front of you right now to rest on, if you need another pillow to put in front of you, by all means, do what feels good. So we're going to come forward with the exhale. And you'll notice that your upper body from belly button up can extend just a little bit forward. On every exhale, try and go a little bit deeper into this. And by deeper, you want to really feel not anything painful. You want to feel this stretch in the inside of your thighs right here and also in your hip flexors. We're also going to try and stretch out our rib cage back here. So you're going to feel this right here under your arms, your deltoids. I always forget what muscles these are in your armpits, but up here, you should be feeling it. This down here too as well. So exhale, walk those fingertips out, drop your head, drop your shoulders from your ears, bring your forehead and nose as close as you can to the arches of your feet. Let your feet come to that area on your face or your upper body. Don't force yourself down onto 
this pose. Once you're here, begin to be mindful of your breath. Remember to keep that pelvis point or tilted out and up. On your next exhale, if you can, lift your wrists and fingertips up. Just so you almost look like you're about to play piano, like little mountains. And on your exhale, let some of that weight from your upper body come into those fingertips. Keep your wrists up. Push down with your fingertips and you'll feel this stretch a little bit deeper under your arms. Remember to breathe. We're gonna stay here for two more breaths. You can do it. Check in with your hips, check in with your knees, check out those toes, make sure that they're still mirror images of each other on both sides. Push down to those fingertips. A big inhale. Hold, exhale, and slowly walk your hands, slowly, slowly back up to your torso. Once you're here, slowly bring your center body present and roll up your spine you can lift your head one vertebrae at a time. Don't rush any of this. Bring your legs together. And while we're here, if you're sitting on something or if you're on your mat, just line your spine up and hug your knees in. And take five deep breaths here. You can hold your elbows. So don't bring your legs so close in that you can't breathe. Two more deep breaths. After that second exhale, release your elbows, release your hands. Get some blood flowing back in them. Might want to dance around a little bit, whatever feels good. And whenever you're ready, we're going to meet in child's pose. You can use your pillow in child's pose in this if you would like, or bolster if you have it. For that, you're going to turn it long ways. But if not, if you don't have a pillow for this, don't worry about it. You want your toes to kiss, your feet or your knees to be a little bit more than shoulder width distance apart. You really want to straddle this pillow so it's almost like you're pinching the pillow sides with your knees. And then bring your knee and turn to the side so you guys can see. You 
Bring your hips down to your heels as close as you can. Bring your arms in front of you. Make sure in this, you can have your, obviously your face laying on the mat, but don't put your chin to the mat. You really want your, your pillow, I guess. You really want your nose and forehead to be on the mat. So this is called tadpole again. So imagine yourself as a little tadpole. But we're backwards, I guess. And remember to breathe here. With every exhale, try to bring those hips a little bit closer to your heels. And with your arms extended, try and lift your elbows up off your mat. of your breathing. So usually you inhale for four through your nose, hold for six and exhale for eight. And I've really come to learn that as long as you're just breathing and your inhale that you're taking in, make your exhale twice as long or as close to it as you can. Just be mindful. Dharma's barking at twirl. I hope she stops. I'm sorry. She's loud. In this pose, be mindful of your shoulders and your ears here. It's easy to want to try and allow our shoulders to kind of cradle our, e our ears. Drop those down. Again, you still want those elbows to try and come off the mat in this. Don't allow your shoulders to hug your ears and you don't want to let them drop. One more breath here and on your exhale, bring your arms back. We're going to slowly come to tabletop. So once we're here, be mindful of your toes. Go ahead and stretch them out a little bit. Move your body around just to wake it up a little bit. Nothing too intense. Some gentle swaying and stretching. Catch your breath again if you need to. Start focusing on breathing. And when you're ready, slowly bring both hands under your shoulders. Again, you want that wrist, elbow, shoulder in a straight line and under your shoulders, not on either side of your mat, but under your shoulders. Make sure that your thumb and forefinger are making a right angle and that your forefingers are pointed forward. Push down with those two fingers, your thumb and your forefinger into the mat and breathe. 
slowly lift yourself under your toes. We're going to come up into down dog. Keep pushing down into your thumb and your forefinger. Push back. Keep your thumb and forefinger pushing into the mat. And push back into your hips and down dog. You can walk your dog. You pedal your dog. From your down dog. Bring your right leg up behind you. Flex your foot and bring it up to meet your right hand. Once you are here, go ahead and get on your knee to give you some support because the alignment, we're going to go into dragon. Let me get back so you guys can see me. The alignment for this is very important. You want to make sure when you're setting yourself up for dragon, lift your toes. This is the ball of your foot right here. Lift your fingertips. This is the ball of your hand right here. You want both your foot and your right foot and your right hand, the ball of your foot and the ball of your hand to be in alignment. And you want this left arm to be under your left shoulder. You want your right knee to be as close to your right arm as possible. And if you can, gently, gently pulling it into your right arm. If you can and would like to lift, if this feels like you're kind of hunched like this, go ahead and extend your right leg out a little bit more into the stretch. So be mindful of where your shoulders are, that there's not this angle going forward. Lift your fingers, lift your toes, keep everything in alignment and breathe. This is dragon, so inhale deep, Twice as long as you inhale, blow it out. In this pose, remember to keep those hips in line. Remember to keep those hips lifted. You want a long line of energy from that tail in your dragon, your foot, all the way up that left leg, into your body, breathe. One more. Gently drop your left knee. Slowly bring your right knee under your body. Bring your left knee to match it. Slowly come up. And all we're going to do is just bring our arms overhead and stretch before we do the left side. Good job, guys. Really, really try and allow yourself to breathe while we stretch here. Okay, so. Wamabaga, we got to do the other side. So come back slowly to that down dog that we were in. Remember to push in that thumb and forefinger. Push as hard as you can and push back into your hips. 
and lift your left leg behind you into three leg dog split. Flex that left foot, bring it forward, find that left hand, which is going to be on the inside of the left foot. I'm sorry, I didn't cue that on the other side, guys. Drop your knee. I don't want to give y'all a show, I'm sorry. And match up the ball of your foot. Match up with your right shoulder and arm. That should be your guiding cue for this. Not so much your foot, but this right arm. This is what is steady right now. So match up your wrist, elbow, and shoulder alignment straight under your shoulder. Lift those toes. Lift, if you would like to come into dragon, off your knee. Lift that right knee. Allow that left knee to come into that left arm. You, gent you don't want to push yourself over, but you just gently want to keep this close to your shoulder. And be mindful of your breath. Inhale. Make sure everything's stacked. That you've got some, your hips aren't sinking on one side. Big exhale. Inhale. Bring the shoulders back away from your ears. Exhale. Two more. On that last exhale, drop your right knee. Breathe slowly. Bring your left leg under you. Go ahead and sit back on your heels if you can. Bring arms overhead. Stretch from side to side. So we're going to go into caterpillar next, but I want you to use your pillow in this. So caterpillar is forward fold and bend. And I want you to bring it under your knees. Now, once you got it under your knees, go ahead and extend your feet out so that they're flexed. I'm just going to give our legs a little bit of grace today. You don't have such an intense stretch here. So we're doing some work up here today. So once you're here, check in with your hips. Make sure that you're not allowing yourself to sink forward. And arms overhead again. Inhale, tilt your pelvis forward. And on that exhale, raise your hands and lean forward. Gently let your head rest between your knees. If you're not there yet, you will be. Try and keep your feet flexed in this. And as far as you can with your hands touching your feet. Be mindful. I don't know. This is such a subtle movement I notice with my body. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Maybe if I talk you through it. So 
when you're leaning over wherever you're at and you're breathing, close your eyes, take a deep breath. Feel how your chest raises just a little bit. And how everything on your torso becomes a little bit longer, stronger in front. Use that to pull yourself down just a little bit further down so that your chest meets a little bit further than where you were. Stay here for a few more breaths. Really, really relax here. I'm gonna go turn off my dishwasher. That doesn't keep happening. Hang on one second. I'm sorry, guys. Still in this forward fold. Really, really relax that upper body into it. This pillow under your knees, or maybe it's your blanket rolled up under your knees. While you're here, remember to breathe. When I was thinking of this sequence, I found some really good quotes and stuff that I had read before that I wanted to share. This is one thing um, that I found. Everyone focus on, focuses on their healing work. And when they do, only then will we see equality, cohesion, and peace. We will never have peace as long as we are fighting an eternal war against ourselves based around trying to deny aspects which are intrinsic to us being human. Follow your gut, share your gifts, know that you can go around whatever obstacles you see in your path. So in this caterpillar pose, while we're here and while we're breathing, think about a caterpillar and what he does next. He builds this cocoon, he becomes this beautiful butterfly. But if there's not enough time in that cocoon, it never becomes that butterfly. So sometimes we have to be patient. Sometimes things don't happen the way they're supposed to, when they're supposed to, but we have to trust that. We have to trust ourselves. You know that you can do it. Slowly from here, walk your hands up your legs so that you're in a forelimb staff pose. Move that pillow under your knees and really push down with your hands in this pose on either side of your hips. So Bring them right beside those hips and almost like you're going to lift your hips up off the ground, but really ground your sits bones down here. Be mindful of your shoulders. Lift your head, lift your neck. Keep those feet flexed. Breathe. Remember to look up. And slowly, there's several modifications to this, but we're going to do camel. So grab your pillow or two, and you're going to straddle these pillows. Actually, this way. Like this. Okay. Long ways, I guess. So your pillows are long ways. But you want 
to make sure that from your knee all the way down to your heel, you have something there to support you. Sink down. One of these is a really, really firm pillow and one's really, really fluffy. So sink down into these pillows wherever you are. Now, if you can feel your heels right, go ahead and reach for them. If you can't, you will one day. Until then, I want you to hold here on your hips. So gently, if you can, holding your heels or wherever you're at in this, lift your hips ever so slightly forward. Hold on to your heels. Bring your shoulders back. Pinch those shoulder blades together. Hold with your core right here, this transverse abdominus muscle right here. Engage your core. Pull your neck and your head so that you can relax. Let those fall back. You're not using your heels, then maybe you have your blocks here, but you want to allow weight to be, your arms to be the weight bearing limbs in this. You don't want to have all this pressure on your legs. So even if you're just here holding your hips, elbows back, chest up, and engaging this core here. And remember to breathe. Wherever you're at, hold that. Take two more breaths. See if you can't bring yourself back a little bit further. Pinch your shoulder blades a little bit closer together. Last breath. From here, slowly allow your torso and body to become centered. Slowly relax your shoulders and your arms. Slowly remove the pillows if you would like. We are going to meet back in child's pose or tadpole. Kiss you at those big toes together, knees just a little bit further than shoulder width distance apart. If you'd like to go further with your tadpole, go ahead and bring them out. Sink those hips down to your heels. And this time, instead of our arms being in front of us, bring them to your sides. Forehead to mouth. And while we're here, focus on your breathing. Focus on those big toes touching. Focus on your inhale, how big your rib cage can get. How strong all those muscles are that's holding all that skeletal system together. And exhale. Try and sink your hips a little bit further down. Breathe.
One more deep breath here. On your next exhale, come on the tabletop slowly. And however is easiest for you to lay back. If you want to grab your pillow again to support your back long ways like so. So you're going to have it right up to your sacrum, which is the flat part of your lower back here. Before you lean back, Check in with your hips. Make sure your sits bones, so you can feel both of them and you are grounded. Walk your torso back until you're comfortable. And from here, we're going to go back to those butterfly legs again, where we're mirroring both sides of our feet. We have our right foot and our left foot. Heels are mirrored. Close, our heels are close drawn into the torso. You're just gonna let your knees fall to the side. Check in with your hips. And having this pillow under us from, should be about your belly button up. Extend out your arms on either side to a T and allow those shoulders to really melt into the edges of those pillows. Let your arms sink down to the ground. Let gravity be your friend. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders. Keep those toes touching if you can. Be mindful. If you can, push the soles of your feet together. Keep your knees where they're at, but just with the soles of your feet. And with your heels drawn close to your torso, ever so slightly push. Just that little bit of resistance. And once you do that, check in with your hips. Make sure everything's even. Close your eyes. On your next exhale, bring both of your knees together. Keep your arms where they're at. Bring them to 90 degrees or so. Flex your feet. Drop your knees to the right side. And look over to your left fingers. So in this, you really want to try, this is kind of modified twisted roots. You really want to try and keep your knees as close together as you can and your feet close together as you can. And if it's hard to do, sometimes if you draw them closer up to your arm, it helps. And then look over at your left fingers, your left hands, continue to allow those shoulders and arms to melt into the floor. Remember to breathe. And in your breath should feel kind of familiar to those side stretches we did at the beginning of the practice. The ribs are raised a little bit. You can really feel all that air getting into that left lung.
Keep looking your gaze towards your left hand fingers. On your next breath, bring both of those knees back to center. And give them a little hug if you like. Be mindful since you're laying on this pillow or if you are laying on a pillow that you're not overdoing this if you're moving around at all because you're not well supported. You know, pillows there, you could still strain something even quick. But just check in, make sure everything is level, back to normal. Go ahead and extend those arms back out the sides. Relax your shoulders, bring your feet up and drop them to the left. And this time your gaze is going to be at your right hand. Give yourself a little wave. Relax your shoulders, let them sink down. Focus on your breath. Make sure that exhale is twice as long as that inhale. Relax your jaw. Relax your shoulders. Let them sink to the mat. Go up that right side. Every exhale. Breathe it all out. Two more breaths. And on that second exhale, bring your knees and feet back to center. If you'd like to hug your knees in, Slightly go ahead. If you would like, we're going to go ahead and go into Shavasana. And if you would like to keep your pillow underneath you, by all means, feel free to. Go ahead and walk your heels down your mat, the bottom of your mat. Point your toes in towards each other. Push and then let them fall to the sides of your mat, to the corners. Become aware of what is touching the ground, your heels and your calves. Put your left hand over your heart, right hand over your belly. Focus on your breathing. And have your arms beside you, whatever feels good. If you'd like to grab a blanket and put it over you right now, you're more than welcome. Again, relax your shoulders away from your ears. Relax your jaw. Close your eyes. And let them sink back. While you're here, if 
the little selection of affirmations that I found that go along with solar plexus chakra in this area in between our belly button and our heart. It's that area that it's our abdomen, holds our stomach, and cradles our spleen. And our mid spine. And from this area, it's thought that we all possess these unique gifts and talents, and we can share them with others. Because each one of us is powerful. And this solar plexus energy is fire, the element for it. So we're in these dragons and thinking about camels out in the desert in the hot sun but they keep going because they can and know that you can be at peace with your life and the world around you know that you are strong and know that success isn't a result of spontaneous combustion you must set yourself on fire Arnold Glasgow said that. So in studying this mantra for the solar plexus, the affirmation for it is I can, I can do, I can think, I can feel. The shadow side of that is shame. And that is not going to serve you anywhere in yoga. So know that you can do these things. Set an intention and know that you can do it. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingertips and your toes. Begin to wiggle your wrists, and your ankles, knees and elbows. And when you're ready, roll to your favorite side. And at your own pace, come to easy seated. No rush, at your own time, slowly bring yourself back. Once we're here, we're going to bring our arms overhead. If you would like to bring them down to heart center. The light in me honors the light in you. And know that you are a bright light and your bright gifts that you bring to this world are special. Namaste.